fillet the gummy shark and um, yeah nice it's a nice fish you'll get two nice two nice big fillets off this so uh yeah we're not experts by any means no no not at all not at all Brady. Um, yeah. we're just we're just trying to give people a bit of a, a bit of an idea and we haven't got any ourselves but it doesn't matter <laughs> but i hey, you, just before we start so i get a lot of questions from punters about your knife and this this is the knife i use for me um for me whiting me snapper and everything it's just it's not as flexible like this knife is a good filleting knife but it's got a lot of flex in it yeah i i, I seem to like a stiffer knife so there's no special brand or nothing no 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 just whatever whatever suits you as long as it's sharp and i've got the steel there so the first thing with the gummies is we take the fins off so we take that one off the back that one off the there we take the ones off the side we take all the fins off one more round here and it's very important we always stress doesn't matter what sort of fish you're dealing with uh, snapper gummies whiting to look after your fish if the fish is on ice you got the fish on ice it's so much easier when you come to clean the fish yeah but with the gummy they've got the backbone so we just start we'll start down the tail end we'll just make a slit hard up against the bone like that and it'll take it through to the other side and then we'll tu I'll turn him on his side Oh, I've, I've, missed, I've missed a fin there, but we'll get it off. Right. Yep. I'll put him on his side like that, Brett. And we'll go. You've got that, you've got his backbone there. See his backbone? Yep. And you just go hard along his backbone. Like that. Yeah. This is where the sharp knife helps, eh? It's a sharp, it's pretty sharp, but they're pretty, pretty strong gummies. Yeah. We'll just go behind the gills there. So look, there's uh, one fillet there, Brett. Okay, now uh, I usually just take this flap off. Like that. Do you eat the flaps? You can eat the flap, just skin it off. And you've just got these rib, rib bones here. You've got these little rib bones here, so we... we we just take them out, like so. We just take them out like that. It goes there. Just clean it up, any little bits and pieces. Like there's a little bit of a... It's a lovely piece of flesh, that. Look at that, Brett. Yeah. Lovely piece of flesh. They say if you freeze gummy, they taste better, right? Yeah, yeah. I never, I never, eat, never eat gummy shark fresh. No. Got to, I, I'll, what I'll do, I'll take that skin off and I'll leave the fillet sitting in my fridge for two or three days, and then I'll cut it into actual fillets. Two or three days. Yeah, two days, at least two days. Yep. And then, because you, you used to be a butcher, didn't you? I was a butcher at one stage, Brady. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, back in the old days, you just get the skin off like so. You keep it, you keep it nice and flat, nice and flat, buddy. So you don't try not to waste too much. It's you keep them flat like that, and then you've got your beautiful. That's just the, the, the skin. Yeah, and there's your look at that. That's your beautiful flake fillet. And then, as I said, I'll put on a, I'll put in a dish, yeah, plastic dish, put it in my fridge, two days, and then I'll just cut it into bits like that, bits about that long, cut them through, yeah. so you get nice, beautiful bits of flake. Because you just don't, it's like in the fish shop, you don't see the fish shop cutting flake that thick. Yeah. Your piece of flake, like, look at that. That's, yeah, that's 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 how you have a piece of flake from the fish shop, ready? Yeah. About that thickness, like that. Yeah. 
and that you don't want it too thick beautiful because then when you cook it you don't cook it for long and you get beautiful bits of flake lovely bit of flake Brady. look at that and uh that's beautiful same thing brett just keep keep your knife flat yeah against the backbone hard on that backbone And there's that backbone. That's uh, the gummies haven't got a lot of bones in them. No. Well, there's the bone, the backbone. Just got the cartilage right along, Brady. So. And they eat the fins and stuff. Yeah, eat the some. fins. Eat the. Eat the head, eat the lot. <laughs> and you can see once again, you've got a beautiful, beautiful piece of fish. fresh flake there. And just take that bit off the end there. Belly flat. Some people will eat that. You can eat it. It's, it's probably a little bit chewy in that, but I'll, I'll skin that off later because it, uh, it can be eaten. And... Just a few little bones to come out along there. Just a little bit of cartilage here, Brady. Yeah. We'll take that off. I quite enjoyed catching the gummy sharks the last few days. Yeah, it's something different. Yeah. Something different and same as the other side. And keep you keep it hard up so you get that skin and you don't waste too much of your fish this would be the same procedure with most sharks you'd say I'd say so yeah And then once again, you got the, look at that nice, beautiful bit of fish there. Yeah. Yeah. Just clean up any little bits and pieces on it. Got a big fish. you like fish. G'day, mate. Hey, yeah. Yeah, and that's just gonna sit, sit in the fridge, buddy. Well, that's pretty much done, isn't it? That's pretty much. I'll give that a wash and then I'll put it in the fridge. And yeah. then um, fill it up. Fill it up. All right, so if you're wanting to fill out another type of fish. Hey, Brett. If, if they want you to fill it another type of fish. Another let, type of fish? Let us know in the comments. Well, we've, what have we done so far? We've done snapper, whiting and gummies. What else is there? I'm not sure, but what else have we got around here that we're going to eat? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe something. But uh, no, that's hopefully um, hopefully that'll give you a, a bit of a clue if you're going to if you're going to fill it your your gummy sharks. Make sure you've got a sharp knife. Take the fins off first. It's not that hard. You just stick stick hard to the uh, stick hard to the backbone, and uh, yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, possum. No worries, Freddy. And we'll put that in the bin. Oh, the seagulls, look, the seagulls will be... 